ATM. Uh, ATM, well, where, where'd you grow up? What neighborhood are you from? Los Angeles, California, South Central. South Central. And uh, tell me about your... Uh, down to La Brea and shit. We walked down to La Brea and so I said, and uh, tied in the knot in the back and she had the one bang hanging out. So it gave off the appearance as if she had hair, but she really didn't, right? But she was gorgeous. But what I liked about so today I'm going to take you on a sightseeing tour of the oddities. This is literally Steak HQ. Hold on. I I'm going to be back in one second. Of 8,800 Blue Lick Road. I don't have a chair planted in front of my laundry machine just so I can watch it run, but each to their own, eh? I feel like it's it's got to be like uh it it's got to be I don't know like someone who has a disability or something right like it doesn't make any sense oh, wait. I like I I will never understand why there's two bathrooms side by side. I guess that's like the fucking the biggest flex you can do is when you have not one but two fucking uh side by side bathrooms, you know what I mean? Absolutely dominated by that globe, but it's on the Piss absorbent objects. And as a jet, so it's a it's a house that used to belong to a church, but then um, the eBay resellers just like made it into their eBay house or something. Is that what it is? Having that many boxes just means they could be a streamer, to be honest. Hey, it's gonna work this time, I promise. I, I remember to do all of my settings correctly. Uh, today we're gonna be checking out 
uh, some of um, some content. I'm not going to tell you who it is. Um, I, he he doesn't say, so I'm just going to not say. Inside Snake headquarters. No, it's not. No, I watched it already. I, I watched it. I just don't know. I, I thought maybe I, it's his house, isn't it? It's XQC's old house? No, I've fucking seen XQC's 8,800 Blue Lick Road is a three-bedroom house that you can go on a 3D virtual tour of right now if you're interested in purchasing it. And it's, uh, you know, they say you don't really know someone until you've I'm gonna go uh, take a held hands while what taking a dump. This digital fuck? property viewing is one of those things where the longer you stare at the image, the more bizarre things you notice. So today I'm gonna take you on a sightseeing tour of the oddities. This is literally Steak HQ. Hold on, I I'm gonna be back in one second of 8800 Blue Lake Road. If we start at the entrance, you're greeted by a Minions brand doormat that really looks like a thing. Ooh, now I don't know for sure, but I think we might have found the toilet soda culprit. Now, if we go across the hall from the man cave, we'll find ourselves in the second bathroom of the property. Now, that urinal in a residential bathroom is a strange decision. But that carpet under the urinal, that is a bad decision. Now that's what in the business we would call a piss absorbent object. Ugh. And as a general tip from me to you, if you've got an object and it's very Ugh. high on the piss absorbency scale, don't put it in places, there's gonna be piss. And oh, look. Oh, an ad. Hang on, I forgot to um turn on ad block like he did. I'll turn off the audio. I went co copy flag for this. I made it small. As you do. But you know what? I'm starting to think the people who live here have, uh, have kind of a thing for boxes. Oh, and there's two more doors over there. So I guess this isn't quite the last room. Yet. So it's a, it's a house that used to belong to a church, but then um, the eBay resellers just like made it into their eBay house or something. Is that what it is? Yeah. We will also find Kyle. Kyle is a box lifter, uh, and next to Kyle is a dark abyss of boxes that Kyle was unable to save. You failed us, Kyle. We trusted you, and you let us down. Now next to Kyle is a door to the next storage room. Let's go through that, shall we? Yeah. It's like weirdly cute. I know most of that shit's like probably stolen. But in a weird way, there's a lot of life in this house. I don't know why, like they named the box mover, you know what I mean? Not gonna lie, man, I think it actually probably just belonged to someone called Kyle. But um I was I was making a joke when I said that the box lifter was called Kyle. Um I think it just belongs to someone who is called Kyle. Probably. Hassan is a socialist, right? I'm a, I don't... Make sure no one sees us go in here. All right? Okay, good. So aside from several racks of Girls Gone Wild, uh, that wasn't an intended pun. I... We've also got, um... Hang on. You know what I'm starting to realize? This is the first place we've seen that could be a place... So uh, he's made his face cam full screen in case uh, something in the video is, uh, like... Is, is explicit. And then if that was the case, his, his stream might get taken down and he'd lose his work. Wow! Growth industry? That's everything I have for you today. This has just been a very small project on the side as I work on something much bigger. My full critique and breakdown of season 11 okay, and I'm gonna add you into the call, yeah. There we go. He stops it the second I'm about to promote my own work. Um, like, I'm about to... Right, you've, what, you've seen the content. Uh, now I would like to take some time out to talk to you about the stuff I'm working on. Uh, and promote my work to you. No, that's not allowed. The only bit of the video that's allowed to play is literally all of it, except for the part where I'm like, hey, um, please check out my stuff. Um, and then he moves on without mentioning my name or like where to find the video. Um, and the title was also not visible on screen for most of his stream. Um, 
And uh, yeah, then he just moves on to his next reaction, which I'm sure was of equal quality to that one. So this was the original drama. I mean, this is like not that relevant to be honest. Yeah, I walk away while this video is going on because I'm fucking, uh, what do you call it? I'm cooking and I'm eating. And uh, they didn't like my uh, react. They were like, react harder. Hassle, hassle, hassle. I guess they did one on Charlie too recently. You get yelled at for pausing and talking too much, then you get yelled at for not reacting hard enough. What are you supposed to do now? I mean, wh what the fuck do you mean? I I'm literally going to do exactly what I've been doing, which is whatever the fuck I want to do, bitch. Wh what are you talking about? Dankies, dankies, dankies. Wait, did he walk away? Wait, what the fuck? Why? Why? What? Why did they walk away? <laughs> Reacting to Hasanabi's original content that he worked really hard on and made all by himself? Okay, first of all, it's making fun of you? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say. Because it's normal. I mean, look, it's normal to walk away uh, when you're fucking uh, live for 10 hours. You know what I mean? JC literally has to steal content to make their content. They've always been an annoying shitter. I mean, who cares? I saw the pin. Uh, I saw the pin comment. It says... Son, if you see this, I'm happy for you to react to my videos if proper credit is given. What am However, I doing please don't just dot dot dot. Let them play as filler dot dot dot. Sitting there and saying very little dot dot dot, and just having lunch dot dot dot, or leaving the room. Like, come on, man. I'm fine with react content. It just requires a substantive or significant reaction. Proper Sanjay, credit. IRL stream in Vegas with clean boys when. Hassan's reaction is both transformative, and critical of the works he's currently viewing, with great takes like leaving. Can't wait for Hassan to react to this reaction. Pogo, Arjan. Pogo. I remember a few years ago when React content used to be considered the laziest thing you could do on YouTube, but now all of a sudden it became the high art of Twitch despite the fact they put even less effort to transforming the original content. I like Hassan Happy a lot, year, but buddy. it definitely puzzled yeah. me how zero content like this became so well received. I don't know. Maybe because I'm live for fucking eight hours and sometimes I'm not literally in front of the camera while the fucking video's playing. 19 months of kissing okay. chat, people kiss. I get that he's making a joke about how you stream, but isn't him reacting to your shit exactly the same thing? No, the, the, the joke is that, like, this is low effort. I know it's low effort. Pog lower sub price in Indonesia, let's go. People usually put copyright for your music or something when they're away from the computer. No, the fuck they don't. And also, I don't give a shit. Okay? I do it differently than other people. Who cares? Um... I really do hope Hassan Abi is aware of his reaction because of being so shitty that he has trouble sleeping at night. Bro, are you fucking insane, dude? Are you... <laughs> Why would I have trouble sleeping at night, dumbass? I hope Hassan has trouble sleeping at night. I'm going to sleep real well tonight after I jerk off. I mean, fair enough, but this dude is such an ego. Like, you just put on videos to eat food and they're molding that the video doesn't get 100% of your attention. I mean, dude, dude, dude. Ultimately, ultimately, the YouTuber is always correct. If the YouTuber says, why the fuck aren't you, uh, why the fuck aren't you, like, uh, why the fuck are you watching my YouTube videos? Then they're right. Like, why am I? You know what I mean? I think the YouTube crowd sees a higher proportion of YouTube clip channels that cover your acts than your normal content. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get to this is C tier drama. This just feels like Hassan wanted to not be streaming anymore, but didn't want to lose those uh, stream dollars. Like outside of the camera being on him, how is it any different than him just watching a YouTube video off stream? It just rubs me the wrong way. Like, how do you think of your viewers to just stream your break? Dude, what am I supposed to do? Die? Like, I don't understand. He also hates fish, which is pretty racist. And honestly, he shouldn't be allowed to continue existing with an attitude like that. 
They're complaining about him not uh, turning the, off the stream for five minutes while he takes a crap or whatever, That's which is delusional and insane criticism that reeks of desperation to find anything to bitch about. He could leave a sign saying, gone for a dump back in five, or could just give credit where it's due and actually react while he's in the room. Doesn't seem like a lot to ask. These motherfuckers are like, dude, answer. peanut bottle, dude. <laughs> So the issue is people have when you're literally not there and still playing it. People prefer if you pause the video or just put on filler music when you literally walk away from the screen. Has. Just saying what I've seen on Twitter and Discord. Yeah, there is, and I've timed this already. There is a 15 minute sequence. What vid is this? What's up, Poke? There's a 15 minute sequence. I stream on average. I streamed on average 10 hours every single day last year. This year, I've lowered that to like eight hours. There is always in the middle of my day when my mom isn't there to cook the uh, chicken for me, a 15 minute sequence where I will rush over, throw the video up on my phone. Okay. Hold on. I just got a weird text message. Uh, I throw it up on my, on my phone. Okay, I throw up the YouTube video on my phone and I'm watching it. I'm simulcasting it on my phone as it is uh, playing on the stream. And if there's a moment that I want to like, that I want to chime in with something, I will literally run back and fucking run back and, and uh, uh, put the fucking take there. It's the same as like me sitting there and not saying anything. Okay. This is extremely weird that people have been conditioned to believe that because you are an entertainer that you need to conform to some type of guidelines that they have set in their own minds. Can you please make the stream black instead of leaving the comments uh, leaving the comments up while you read text? I mean, you did it to yourself. What do you mean you did it to yourself? What does that mean? I'm confused. Did you just come in here just to fucking talk shit? You, you fucking weirdo. Anyway, the point is, just get a BRB screen like H3H3. H3. 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 It means you did it to yourself. I can't wait for the reaction to this reaction. Well, most people will uh, shit on me because they're right. It's like super bottom of the barrel, uh, super bottom of the barrel really shit hard. to just like do, to just to fucking click on a video and um, to click on a video and just like play it and, and talk over it. So no matter what happens, they're going to see it as like the most bottom of the barrel type of content that you can make. Even though like YouTubers do exactly the same shit and they do it all the time and it's whatever. But YouTube has always had that same, like, reactions are fucking uh, bullshit uh, attitude, right? It just sucks because after the video ended, you came back and actually reacted to a worse version of the same video. Yeah, no, back. that was Donkey's video that I didn't really things. offer proper reaction to. It doesn't fucking matter, chat. People would rather just stare at the chair, stop overthinking this. No, ultimately, Let's it doesn't matter. This. Ultimately, it doesn't matter. If the, because the moment that it shifts away from free advertising and clout for the fucking content creator to like something that they don't want is the moment that they decide they don't want this to happen, which is fine. If that's the case, if they don't want me to watch it, then I won't fucking watch it. Like, it's that simple. Even though I've like given, uh, a, a lot of clout and Mental also a lot of like attention to this. You should be peeing at your seat. Um, uh, now, but this dude may have had a good argument saying he didn't like how you react. It was hard work, but he went petty and petty title and petty reactions. It's hard to understand for Premier Poe Andes who don't really react live or can hold a stream. They produce it with time and prep. You're producing it live. Yeah. I think they confused your reaction to the donkey video with theirs because it was so similar. Yeah, I think they're like upset that I was because I wasn't there for the donkey one, but I was there mostly for uh, for their uh, video. Honest question: Aren't YouTubers losing viewers because they're showing you're showing the video already? No, or at least Charlie is one of them. His video on how reacting on Twitch with Twitch chat is a lot of fun for him, even if he shat on YouTube reactions. So here's here's how this works. Okay, it ultimately doesn't matter because what matters is the IP owner, right? If they don't like that, then I'll stop. So they're correct. Their criticism, even if it's like react harder, is that might be a bullshit criticism, but like 
they're correct if they say if they're like i don't want you to react to my videos because they're correct it's their fucking video I right know. so that's one i, have thought we could I have always 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 qualify this like i always mention this right they're correct if they say i don't want you to watch my uh youtube videos now Having said that, react to yourself, not reacting um, harder, harder, pogo at Hassan. When people ask, like, well, what's up? Like, aren't you taking views away? No, most YouTubers don't mind that, actually love that shit when Twitch streamers react to their videos because they get a fucking work. fat bump. Best react, Andy. Because when 40,000 people are watching alongside me a YouTube video, there is a thousand of those people that are like, well, I want to watch some of my own time. I want to watch other uh, uh, videos from that channel. I want to watch all this other shit. You know what I mean? That's usually how it works. And I know this from my own personal experience as well. As a, is preferred uh, pronouns or she, they, by the way. Okay, sorry. I, uh, I, I didn't know that, but I was, I was saying they just to be safe. But some commenters are writing uh, using uh, male pronouns. So uh, don't do that anymore. Um, A good example of that bump is Austin Ox. I subscribe when he had 5K. He has like 11K now. Yeah, exactly. So people, uh, people share it with their friends and da da da. I think they, I think they agree, but you didn't say their name. Yeah, I didn't know who who this person was, but you can see what the fucking title of the video is. Like, you know what I mean? When I hover yeah, over it and shit. Late. They say in the video they use all of them. Oh, okay, perfect. Anyway, ten months with my fat so, political himbo. Oh, I've subbed to their numerous channels on YouTube that I found out. I've subbed to numerous channels on YouTube that I found out about your streams. Yeah, kissing face. So that's the reason why sponsors pay money to Twitch streamers to like play their video games, for example, right? There's a reason for that. It's because they want as many eyeballs as possible on it. And then people will go and fucking, uh, you know, find it on their own. So. That is the ultimate reason why I don't feel bad at all watching YouTubers uh, content on stream. They literally tweeted a chart showing the spike in viewers after reacting. Wait, are you serious? Anjanili. So this argument is unironically reduced to just like fucking react harder forehead, really? Love you, dad. Right, which streamer was it this time? Two months, love you, BB, much most respect at Hussein Abbey. Oh my god. So they're aware of it. Like, they know. Okay, so That's I don't understand. Okay, well, if they, if they don't want it, then I, I just won't watch their videos, man. I, I just think, like, yeah, I, I don't know. This, okay, this is changing my point of view a little bit. Now I feel like it's just more, like, attention-grabbing. Like... Do you like video games? Could have been the donkey video as well. Yeah, I just, I just won't play them too. I know. I read this already. I read it. Uh, it just says I'm fine with react content. It just requires a substance or a significant reaction. Proper credit. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. I, I just, all right, I'm done with this. Let's move on to the other drama. Oh, no, I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk about it. I, I, yo, it's on the home. Want to talk about it? If no, I'll just go live instead. Yeah. No, I don't want to talk about it. Stigma of them being preppy conservative no. shoe wear. I love my spirit okay. and would love to share that sleep comfort with chat. Have you heard anything? I'd really about suggest watching what they said during their own stream about it, but do what you want. No, uh, maybe it'll bubble up to bigger drama and then I'll uh, react to it again. We've already spent way too much time. You agreed it was wrong. They weren't even that upset. Why drag this on? Exactly. I'm not going to do it. Okay. Show their fucking channel name, dude. It's not a big deal. No shit, dumbass. What kind of a fucking baboon are you? Fungus. Like, you think I disagree with that? Why do you... Oh, God. I fucking despise these dipshits, dude. Yo, I swear to God, dude. I swear to fucking God. Like... 
Just such a fucking dingus, dude. Let's just show shit. their no, channel name, dumbass. Movie. How is that so fucking hard? Like, what is this attitude that you have? You stupid fuck. Yeah, I know. I agree. What I what kind of like... Hassle. Like, you make it seem like I purposely was like fucking hiding it or something. It was literally on my screen for like a fucking hour, you idiot. I just, oh my God, Love dude. You, oh my Danny. fucking God. I think you're great, but you only talk to 14 year old viewer takes for the sake of easy wins or helping slash helping same said audience. Yeah. Well, you're, I'm going to clown on you too right now for thinking that you're making a fucking educated take. And then my other people are going to think birthday. you're a fucking 14 year old dumbass too. No you understand that, right? Most people write shit in the chat thinking that they're fucking brilliant. And the moment that I like, the moment that I shit on them, you're like, oh, yeah, okay. You always skip through their ads? Yeah, of course I skip through their ads. Anyway. We're going to talk about a bunch of different things. Isn't it weird for people to wear veter veterans hats without being a veteran? No, it's deliberate. I'm doing it on purpose. I'm wearing a Korea veteran hat. I'm clearly not a fucking Korea veteran, dude. That's the joke. I'm stealing valor. Do you understand? I'm doing it on purpose. I, I, I am stealing valor from the veterans from Korea. Clearly play a critical role. Yeah, when that day comes, then we can restart the vibe of the video like this again. The first thing we'll do is we'll have a certain degree. Then we can hang the heroes for our health workers and our first responders. We will honor those who say us. We're not doing all this with no health insurance. The job doesn't offer it, and our affordable marketplaces aren't very affordable. If I get sick, and I don't care if I get tested positive, I can't go to the hospital. You know, if you come to the show, it's just important. I need some pizza and lots of pizza. I need some 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 pizza. True. And that man's story is one of these. We cannot do anything beyond wishing the mercy on, of God for the lives we have lost. Um, yeah, there was a meme in Turkey that Erdogan was like throwing tea at people. <laughs> particularly in be. unvaccinated communities. Sorry. Thank you. Okay. Um, dude, this is awesome. Why did you say retail workers hate their lives? Yes, I said retail workers. Why did you say retail workers hate their lives? As fuck, man, I worked in retail, but my life was worth living. Okay, I'm just going to ban you, dude. Um, okay, I think you need to cool off a little bit. You know, go and... Uh, just, just go and, uh, you know, live a life worth living outside, okay? Eat grass, dumbass. I just, like...
I don't know if that guy deserved a ban, to be honest. Do you want one too, dude? Here you go. 22 month subscriber. Have fun with that, okay? Get fucked. Get absolutely fucked. Do you want one too, dude? Here you go. 22 month subscriber. Have fun with that, okay? <laughs> oh, damn. He's gone to the evil side. I've been doing this for a very long time. Like, I, I've never stopped doing this. I always fucking, I always ban long-term community members. See, like, this is a good one. This is a good one to fucking, this is a good one. 28 months, dude. There you go. Hey, hey, what's up, dude? Hey, what's up? You want that? There you go. Get fucked. The feedback loop. I'm sorry. Did you get banned? Oh. Let me, let me pet you real quick. I'm sorry. Are you sad? You can no longer see the fucking chat, dude. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Sigma AF. Yeah, I fucking held my goddamn frame once again, bitch. AC noise is super annoying. Please consider a fix that doesn't kill your back. Yeah, I mean, this is a good fix that doesn't kill my back. You shutting the fuck up for an entire week. How about that? I find it incredibly strange. Okay? That People think that uh, being uh, people think that being able to chat in here or having access to the streamer 24/7 while the content is being provided is uh, a functionally just a hotline for complaints. It does sound a mess, though. Okay, clip it and send it to me. I will listen to it. Mad streamer? Yeah, I am fucking mad. Here, take a week off, dipshit. Don't you think you went a little hard? You too, dude. Here you go. 28 month subscriber. Dude, you come in here in like 20 minute increments and you're like, well, hell, I don't understand. Are you being a little too hard? It's like, dude, literally from this morning, like since I started, I turned off the audio, uh, the noise gate. And, and like thousands of people have fucking complained the entire day, dude. So you want to get banned slash sued? What? Pepelo, stolen content, keg W. Dude, my content is just making fun of dumb idiots like you and then banning you. When will you learn? Chatters never learn, dude. Chatters think like, dude, oh my God, you're going to get so sued. 14 year old Andy's like, hmm, I'm going to get you so sued. Yeah, okay, dude, make some fucking content first, all right? Dumb baby. Anyway, Coffeezilla is sick, though. You guys should subscribe to him. All right, let's watch Steven Crowder's Nightmare, dude. This is going to be awesome. Uh, this is Eamon Animations. He made one of me as well, which was fucking crazy. If you guys have seen that, I don't know if you have or not, but I I'm willing to bet that this is going to be an insane fucking video. Vic Berger is the perfect person to do this. Uh, to, to absolutely just come through these fools. Um, we have so much to watch today, but... Obviously, I love this one. I mean, he's so good. He's so incredible. So incredibly talented. This is it. That I think That's it. This is the greatest work of all time. This is a permanent conservative L compilation of a bunch of sad freaks who GG. basically bet the horse and the house. Sorry. Bet the house on a horse. He isn't funny if you're an adult. Yeah, I mean, okay. So what? There's like... I feel like there's an endless supply of 12 year olds on the internet, so it, it, it kind of doesn't matter. Like, I appeal to adults. Doesn't really mean much, you know? I low key think that <clears throat> I'm going to fucking toot my own horn here. I think that the reason why these, the, the reason why Coffee Zilla is like exploding is because one, he's doing great content, obviously. But I also kind of feel like Twitch streamers watching, like every Twitch streamer watches videos. You don't promote viewership as much as you think. Literally every single fucking YouTuber says that when Twitch streamers watch them, they fucking spike. They can note, they see a noticeable spike in their subscribers and a noticeable spike in their view count.
This video will blow up too because it's about Aiden Ross. Why? Why are you? Why are you random chatter who does not understand analytics or content creation or anything for that fucking matter? Sitting here and acting like you know what the fuck you're talking about because you watched one YouTuber who was butt hurt that like I didn't react hard enough to their fucking YouTube video even though that very same fucking YouTuber unironically literally said, oh my God, who's watching my YouTube video now? And, and showed that it was like leading to more fucking viewership for them. Oh, 200 views for a YouTuber who, who is like, for a YouTuber who was doing this professionally, that's literally nothing. Not literally nothing. That's figuratively nothing. That is, um, so insubstantial, like that is very insubstantial to them. And they probably, there was a very good chance that they could have not noticed this if it was just like, you know, wasn't all in the same hour, right? Or even if it was. Right before they fucking made it their mission to just like uh, make content for the next month or so with other YouTubers uh, getting together and just be like, oh my God. They fucking made it their mission to just like uh, make content for the next month or so getting together and just be like, oh my God. The other day, the every frame of pause guys literally spent four hours bitching about the react stuff. They can suck my cock. I'll never watch their dog shit fucking content, okay? What plenty, what, what plenty of YouTubers fucking understand is that, like, this actually fucking helps. It's like a back and forth ecosystem. I can't wait. Now that I fucking mentioned them, I'm sure they'll, like, literally do another analysis on this, dude. Every frame of pause is incel Star Wars YouTubers that are wrong about everything. Yeah, every frame of painting is fucking sick. Every frame of pause, on the other hand, I do not know who the fuck they are, but apparently they were like... Um, apparently they were fucking complaining about me watching YouTube videos of them. Watch out, Asan, they're gonna make another Discord argument of destroy your entire career. It's just fucking, it's so lame, dude. Like, yeah, I mean, go off. You're right. I mean, they're right. They're right. They're right. They're right. Every YouTuber, and I've said this since the beginning, every YouTuber has every right to be upset if Twitch streamers are watching their YouTube videos. Straight up. That's true. They're right. Which is precisely why when YouTubers are like, dude, what Let's the fuck start. are you doing? I'm like, oh, sorry. We'll never watch it again. Stop giving them free cloud. They throw out of this shit. Yeah, I know. There's fucking more cloud than they're ever going to get, but whatever. So I can watch your streams in full and talk about it, and that's okay? Yes, of I'll course it's okay, out. you fucking weirdo. Of course it's fucking okay, dude. Are you fucking stupid? I'll watch your videos and reviews and you get exposure. What fucking exposure are you going to give me? But go off if you want with your fucking 45,000 views, dude. Go off. Watch all my fucking streams on your stream, dog. Have fun with that. Maybe you'll fucking blow up soon, king. Fucking 45,000 views, dude. Jesus Christ. You make it so difficult not to shit on you, dude. God damn. If you had fucking more than three goddamn brain cells, you would recognize that, like, I literally do not fucking care. Okay? Also, there's plenty of... There's plenty of streamers that are significantly more successful than you that already do, do that, okay? Shouts out the Miskiff. Back when he used to stream, that's what he would do. Uh, he would just, you know, react to my stream. Or, uh, rather, just watch my stream and then copy it next day. <laughs> There are YouTube channels with hundreds of thousands of subscribers that get millions of fucking views and they just, you know, they take my fucking uh, videos and they clip it, they clip the reactions, they post it on those YouTube channels and they make money. Like, I don't have a problem with it. The Hasanabi Clips industrial complex is fucking thriving. So when dumbasses come in here and they're like, <laughs> what about if I were to watch your videos? Like, go off, dude. So we counter claimed it. So that does is that that removes a strike, but we're fighting back type of thing. And if this, if this like escalates, months, yeah. well, it'll get, cr it'll get crazy. I don't know how much content he consumed, but this could be a terrifying precedent, dude. Especially if he's like, especially if he's in the wrong, like, especially if it's not actually in the fucking range of, of, uh, fair use. Okay, this is legitimately terrifying because if it's not fucking fair use, which a lot of stuff that we do on Twitch is not fucking fair use, dude. It's not. Oh no, I'm I'm like actually worried, dude. That's like fucking 90% of my content is React Andy shit. I would literally just run ads at the top of the hour and then for the rest of the hour, I would just be a top of the ad streamer. But fear not, dude. 
No matter what the precedent is, you can still avoid those ads if you subscribe. Five dollars, Twitch Prime for free. I feel like this could set a, set a precedent. And if it sets a precedent and like Twitch has to get more proactive on uh, reaction content or just like in general content that uh, we are rebroadcasting without like prior consent, which is like 99% of the, uh, which is 99% of fucking content, it would be terrifying because then you just like literally can't watch anything. It would be worse than, who should be worse than YouTube? Like why not? It's transformative just like YouTube, dude no it's not it's transformative if you're like actually fucking cutting it up and transforming it if you're just letting the video if you're watching the video raw and that's not necessarily transformative i mean i try to fucking get away i try to be as like you know transformative as possible obviously with notable exceptions but um ultimately it's still not like it's just not like no shot i don't think it would be Okay, what doesn't fall under the category of fair use? For example, if I'm like literally doing a, a YouTube video and I just take a video from like a local broadcaster, like a local news broadcaster, and I just slam like 10 seconds of it or 30 seconds of it into the beginning of my video, kind of like the way I do when I'm opening up a broadcast about a particular news story, like the Macy's playlist that we watch. That's actually not fair use. It would be fair use if I were criticizing the actual broadcaster and what they're fucking saying rather than uh, using what the broadcaster is saying as like basically uh, uh, seasoning for my uh, seasoning for my commentary. I haven't watched as much as I used to. You understand? To recently, but is it fair use to parasitically rebroadcast someone else's copyrighted content and react to it? it? to make dollars without their consent con consent uh it depends a lot of content creators don't mind it as a matter of fact uh i don't mind it personally when people do it to my uh content uh and many other youtubers that i'm friends with or uh or fans of mine that i don't know of but watch their videos of personally uh, appreciate it and enjoy it having said that some don't and when they don't, I never watch it ever again. Falling from the future. Yeah. All YouTubers are technically correct, though, when they say, hey, don't fucking watch. If they, if they ever say, hey, don't watch my fucking videos, or hey, what the fuck are you doing? That's bullshit. If I were to do 12 hours of content in a similar capacity to how like, I would do it on broadcast television, oh, I would need an entire team of producers constantly reaching out to content creators and being like hey we're going to use these like short increments of your footage i would have to pre-plan all of it i would have to literally pre-watch all of the videos or your mods could and suggest approved content no 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 that's like no one would ever do that that's insane i would have to have full-time producers a counterclaim asserts that you have the rights not just fair use that's what fair use is fair use would mean that if his if his usage of their material was fair use, then that means whatever clip or whatever content XQC made, he owns the rights exclusively to that content. He owns the, those rights. So theoretically, if the Olympic Committee were to show XQC stream watching the Olympic broadcast and, and without adding content or whatever, XQC could actually sue the Olympic Committee for copyright infringement. Like that's what that means. That's, what that, that's how strong that claim is when you counterclaim. Oh, because he's saying that he actually does own that content. That his broadcast, wrong? he's saying he owns yeah. that broadcast. Yes, this was fair use. I own that. It was a transformative piece yeah, of work. Yeah. yeah. Which is why I would be shocked if there was no response. A counter. I'm confused by what he was saying. Chas making it seem like, uh, I, mean, I mean, he's wrong all the time, but I don't think he's just like wrong on this one. Yo, that's my art on your shirt. It was stolen by boss, so I haven't gotten any revenue or credit, which has sucked a lot because I'm a very small artist. I tweeted it if you want to share. Here you go. Liv, this is uh, wonderful. I love this art. Pay them? Dude, what the fuck? Paid with exposure? Chat. I didn't fucking steal this person's art. Why are you guys yelling at me, dude? Dude, what the fuck? Paid with exposure. Like, I get so mad at this when YouTubers look around. 
okay? And they make one fucking video. They make one fucking video a month and get like Patreon money or they make like two fucking videos a week max, okay? And then they cash out with like a six-figure check because they have a, a sea of simps. And then they turn around and shit on streamers who literally fucking go live for six to eight hours every day. Like, that's nuts, dude. Of course there's going to be dead space in between, you stupid fuck. This shit genuinely tilts me, dude. It genuinely tilts me. You could make a compilation of me sitting around, not even on camera, with a fucking video playing in the background. You could, when you're live for 13 hours a fucking day, of course there's going to be, of course. So petty, hot rod chatter. Bro, do you not know by now? Like, yeah, I'm petty as shit, dude.